Hey guys, it's Chris here. I've got a few pickups for the week. It's been a while since I've really gone out and searched for anything. Uh, stopped at local Walmart, and while I was there, went ahead and walked past the card area and got a box of the Parkhurst and a box of the Series 2 2122 with an oversized Young Gun. Um, this is actually going to be the first Series 2 stuff I've opened, and I really don't like that the number of packs has gone down in these boxes, but, so hopefully the value's there, hopefully I get one of the, the better young guns, or one of the young guns I'm looking for, so we'll see what happens with that. And then, picked up, um, some random cards at my local shop, um, Artifacts has been delayed again and again, so I figured might as well pick up a few Artifacts cards. Um, a Mark Stone out of 165, the jersey, the dual jersey for eight bucks, not too bad. I um, kind of was a little iffy on the price, but figure couldn't hurt. I haven't found any Artifacts stuff or bought any art packs yet, so um, uh, Milan Lukic. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, at a two ninety nine, it's I guess the copper. I'm not sure. I'm not positive on that one. And then a Bill Ranford, uh, two ninety nine out of two ninety nine. That's I think one of the legend, one of the legend cards from that area. Yeah. And then an Alex Glitch Galli I'm Galichkov. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that was at a forty five for. Four dollars. So, like I say, artifact stuff. I like the artifact cards, and since it's delayed, and delayed, and delayed, figured I'd pick up a few, make myself feel a little happier on that one. Um, an Anthony Mantha playing card. Um, it's a two bucks, but usually the shop anything that's orange tags is usually half off. Um, so, if not always, but this one was half off there in a the bargain bin. He has a bargain bin where everything's half off. Uh, picked up a couple Orioles cards. Um, Ryan Mountcastle, um, his number one prospect retro card, and his rookie, I think this is the Heritage set. Yeah, this is out of the Heritage set. This is rookie out of the Heritage set. So these were both $2 a piece each. So I don't think that was a bad deal. Some of his stuff, some of his other rookie cards are going for a little more, so I didn't think it was too bad of a deal. And then last was uh, Sam Bennett, Young Guns. Um, I don't know. It just caught my fancy. He just saw it. Uh, it was, I think, four bucks, four or five bucks, so not too bad. It was kind of in good shape, so just went ahead and grabbed it. So let's go ahead and get into these. Um... Let's go ahead and do the Series 2. Haven't done much of this, so let's... Haven't done any of this, so let's see how we do and hope for something good. And I've got my five packs. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's see who the... Ooh, that looks like a Detroit... Hey, now that's a good one to get. Not bad. Lucas Raymond, oversized. Nice, nice one. Set that up there. Let's see what we have here. All right. I'm going to kind of go through the base stuff pretty quick. Not a bad. Got a young gun already. Pretty good. Not a bad one. And I th think the f today was the first round of the draft, so... By the time you guys have seen this, it's probably going to be a couple days, but interesting seeing how there's some bigger, look like there's some big trades today from the draft. Oop, got a Dazzler back there. 
Tom Wilson for my Caps collection, and a Taylor Hall for Dazzler. That's pretty neat. It's a different, little different pattern in the background there than the other Dazzlers from Series 1. So, pretty cool. And, ha, Sam Bennett. Now with the Florida, so. So far, not too bad. Got a couple good ones. And Canvas, Adam Fox. Nice. Not a bad one. I like that. There we go. Doing pretty good so far. Kind of liking. Gotten some. A couple good ones so far. Ooh. Here we go. And a update of Jonathan Dahlin. Dahlin. I think that's how it's pronounced. Not a bad one. Blue. Is that, these aren't numbered, are they? No. Last pack of the Series 2. Hopefully we can beat the odds and get an extra young gun. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, it did. Anthony Lundell. Not bad. He'd be pretty good for the Florida Panthers this year. I'm sorry, not Anthony. Anton Lundell. Yeah, pretty good for the set. So, there we go. Not a bad thing. I got two young guns, and I think the average is supposed to be one in six. So I got two, which is pretty good. And then let's see what we do with Parkhurst. I know it's a lower-end product, but it's kind of fun because there's a lot of good inserts and... You get a lot of cards if you're chasing stuff for your team or something like that. So, let's see. All our packs. How many have we got here? We've got 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. Got all 12 packs. All right. Put the other Capitals one up there. P.K. Subban, fam, family tradition. It's an interesting insert. Some rookies. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice one. OV, ice in, ice in the veins. That's a really cool insert. I like that one. That's nice. Got some nice rookie. Schultz for the caps. And... that off the side. The stack's getting a little big.
you know, let me know in the comments any big trades that you see or heard about or any new what you think of the new some of the new draftees silver of Philip Forsberg Shane Pinto rookie Yeah, let me think what you think. I'm not, I usually don't put much into the draft sometimes because as it is, sometimes the guys hit and sometimes the guys don't. But who knows? Let me know what you think, though. I'd like to hear some different opinions on. And Anton Lundell, nice prominent prospects. I like that one. Not a good one. Rookie, Zach Jones. We got um that sank Grigor Desenko Denisinko? Then the Cinco de Sanco, not sure how to pronounce that. Panthers. Panthers do have a lot of good young talent coming up. Ooh, that's a nice parkies of Vasilevsky. Kind of like the look of that this year. Ooh, got another prominent prospect of Quentin Byfield. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Got a couple of good prospect ones in here. And uh, oh, that's in the, uh, the that's a good one. Austin Matthews, ice and ice and veins. That definitely a good one. Tyce Thompson. Got a few of the nice good rookies in here. Didn't get the Zegris or anything yet, but that's still we got one lucky pack left, maybe. Let's see how we do. Nope. Caposo Silver and a Jacob Brandon Bernard Docker. Uh, and that's my cat there making noise in the background. Nico Heischer with the cage on his face still the, from, I forget what that was, what happened while he was wearing that, but it's a funny one because you can see in the background there's all the empty seats and stuff in the bleachers, in the stands. There we go. Well, a lot here, We've got a few nice, decent inserts. Uh... Got ice, ice in your veins, and Matthews, a Parkies of Vasilevsky. Got the, I guess I would say the top Florida prospects, and a Quentin Byfield out of that, and then a few, a, 
OVE Ice in Your Veins, not bad. A few from my Caps collection. And then a few other nice ones with the Series 2. I may, if I find another box, I may grab another one of these boxes. But still kind of not sure about the price tag on them for only five packs and one jump oversized card. But still got a decent oversized. So let me know what you think in the comments. And catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye.